In order to know which sales items should be deactivated or deleted, run the list of inactive sales items report by navigating to Point of Sale, Sales and Revenue Reports, and List of Inactive Sales Items, and select your partition. Note that it is optional to run this report, but the report is helpful for confirming which sales item should be deactivated or deleted, as this report will display sales items that have not had any activity, i.e. sales, over the specified period of time. Go ahead and set your date range. So for example, the past year or two, to show inactive items between the specified period and specify the sales area if applicable. Click print to run the report or click export to export to Excel. Next, we want to change the applicable sales items to a deactivated status. To do so, navigate to point of sale, system administration, and change item deactive status. You can filter what items you see by selecting a specific category. You can also specify the date last sold before, which will filter the list to show all items you have not sold since this date. And you can also use the search option as needed. Make sure that set item deactive status 2 is set to yes. If you are using club inventory, flag update link SKU inactive status to update the applicable SKU. There are several options to move items from the left pane to the right pane deactive list. You can double click an item. You can select multiple items by holding down the control key on your keyboard and clicking and dragging. And you can select a range of items by using the shift key on your keyboard. All of the items on the right will be changed to a deactive status. To remove an item from the deactive status list in the right pane, double click on it. Then you can go ahead and preview and update your changes. Now that you know what sales items have a deactive status, you will want to view your menus to see if any deactive items appear on any of your menus. You can do so by navigating to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Sales Items. Then click F9 and select the Item List Showing Menus Report. This report will give you the option to view active only, deactive only, or both. Then you can view the report, which will be a list of all your items and which menus they are currently on. Once you find out if deactivated items appear on any of your menus, you will want to remove them from your menus. To do so, navigate to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Quick Setup Menu Design. Select your menu, then you can go ahead and utilize either the not used function or the hidden function. To use one of these functions, select the function, then select the button on your menu and click yes to override. Don't forget to click OK to save your changes. For more information on how to clean up your menus, watch the video titled Menu Cleanup. If you do not want to delete any sales items or SKUs, you can stop the process here. If you do want to delete sales items or SKUs, follow the next three steps. When you delete an item within the Jonas Club inventory or point of sale applications, the system rolls up the sales information into one item per category to use for past sales. It is recommended to run the following reports and save them as a PDF or Excel file prior to deleting any items. After running the applicable reports and determining which sales item should be deleted, navigate to Point of Sale, System Administration, and Delete Sales Items. Use the filter options at the top of the screen as applicable, and then go ahead and add items to the right pane that should be deleted. Click Update to delete those items. If your club utilizes club inventory, you will want to delete SKUs linked to sales items that have been deleted. It is important to note that there must be a zero quantity on hand in order to delete a SKU, and therefore you may need to make a manual adjustment to remove the quantity on hand prior to deleting the SKU. To delete a SKU, navigate to Club Inventory, Utilities, and Delete SKUs. Select the area, use the filter options as needed, then add the SKUs to the right pane. As noted at the bottom of the screen, POS items linked to SKUs will also be deleted. Then go ahead and preview and delete the SKUs. 
If you want to reorganize the point of sales items, but not start from scratch, you can adjust the sales item code by navigating to point of sale, system administration, and change item code. Select your partition, then select your item code. Enter the new item code in the change to field, then click enter. If the change to code you entered already exists, you will receive a prompt asking if you want to proceed. The system will also check for open chits and bookings where the item is in use. Items can also be imported from a two column spreadsheet listing the existing item code and the new item code by utilizing the import items function. Click OK to proceed with the code changes. If you are using Club Inventory, you can also adjust the SKU number by navigating to Club Inventory, Utilities, and Change SKU Numbers. The process here is the same as changing an item code. It may be helpful to reference the report you receive from changing item codes so you can change the applicable SKU numbers as well. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.